spot and it's been sunny and rainy and sometimes sunny and rainy at the same time but it's not far the wind is right on the nose and I wanted to give the batteries a good charge so I thought we'll just motor for the two hours and it'll also give me a full tank of hot water so I can get rid of this later and have a shower but it's calm out and it's Friday afternoon so we don't want to get to Squirrel Cove too late because I don't know if there's going to be a weekend rush there or not so it's 3 p.m. we'll get there at 4 p.m. and that should give us enough time to get a good spot to anchor it's a fairly large bay so I'm not too concerned but it's a very popular bay too so that in mind. But yeah, just uh, another hour and we'll be there. Just over six miles. That was the opening into Squirrel Cove. Now we're just going to go find an anchorage. from over there. And most boats seem to like anchoring close to the rapids. Which are right there. Right behind me are the rapids that go into the lagoon at Squirrel Cove and right now the tide is low so the lagoon is uh, draining into Squirrel Cove and as the tide rises it'll reach a point where the tide will actually be high enough that it'll start flooding back into the lagoon. So we're going to come back later and check this out and see if we can go through with the dinghy and check out the lagoon with you guys.
Well, it's pretty late, and I didn't get footage of us going back out the rapids because it was too dark, and now I'm just downloading footage for the day, so I thought I'd say my good night on this camera before I download it, and oh, I got the one thing I wanted done today was shaving, so uh, that was the one thing on my list to do. Other than that, it was a super fun day. We had a short little trip over from Desolation Sound Marine Park to Squirrel Cove and shot the rapids, did some exploring in the lagoon, and came back. Like I said, it was after dark, so, but a really cool area. Tomorrow we'll look at it a little bit more, but we've discovered that if you go in there, you could get stuck in there for a while, so we, you want to time that. Uh, well, so that you're not in there for a long time like we were. But that's how we learn. We also heard there's a rope swing in the bay here somewhere, so we're going to look for that tomorrow.